All right, hey guys, now we're doing all of our World War II uniforms. We did a gear video, if you haven't seen that, go check it out, and this is all of our uniforms. Jimmy's over there, and mine over here. So first up, we got my M41 field jacket with 26 ID patch on it. Got this from at the front, really good reproduction. I love this jacket. In fact, I love most of my jackets, so that's nothing special. Infantry leggings. These I've had for like four years. They're at the front repros. They're just now the straps underneath are starting to wear through, but they have held up amazingly. I've just I've only had to replace the laces once. Airborne slash like mechanics gloves. Uh, once I get my M42s for airborne, I'm gonna use these for if we do a D-Day thing. My only pieces for German uniform M36 trousers and an M43 here cap with the um, Third Reich Eagle on there. Dress uniform. This is doesn't have a patch on it. I used to have an airborne patch on there, but since I only had one, I put it on my M43 jacket. Got the tunic, the tie, um, dress shirt, trousers, whole shebang. And then I got like for airborne. Where is it? Got my unit citation in there. Yeah, right there. So it's good. Third, uh, third, second pattern HBTs. I've had these for a while. They have really worn down kind of nicely. They're really faded. That's my HBT cap. That's the color of these used to be. They, yeah, it's insane. Real nice. I use these for my infantry impression. Tanker's jacket. Uh, I got it because I needed a good jacket for winter and this is a really warm jacket. It was designed as a winter combat jacket, but it was used a lot by tankers and that sort of thing. And I already had a second armored patch, so I threw it on there because there was no other jacket it could really go on. Not sure whether it is a wool or a flannel. Uh, it's enlisted shirt. I use it for airborne and that sort of thing. M43 field jacket with 101st airborne patch on it. Got this from at the front. It's supposed to be a defect jacket, I have no idea what's wrong with it. I compared it to Jimmy's and his is an original. They look exactly the same, so I don't know what that's about. Jeep cap, uh, paratrooper jump boots. These are just the regular jump boots. If I want them to look like Corcoran's, I could easily just replace the laces with leather ones and they would look pretty much like Corcoran's without having to pay for the brand name. And my Korean War dated sweater. It's like 1952 or something but it's the exact same pattern and style that was used during World War II. And yeah, so now I'll pass it over to Jimmy and he can show you his stuff. All right, so this is my gear for infantry and airborne. Um, all that's really left for me is I wanna do a Marine impression. So I gotta get some Marine uniform. So I'll get probably end up getting the frog skins and just the regular uh, fatigue uniform. So down here I have my original 1940 dated um, winter coat. Uh, I've only used this thing once really and it's probably the warmest coat I've ever worn in my life. Um, and then right here I have my original M43 jacket. I, the date's faded on this. It used to be there but I've used it too much that it's faded away. Um, taking it out of storage from the winter I guess. Uh, found some stains on it but gives it character. I got the airborne patch on there. It's a modern a little bit more modern because it's got OD7 right there, but that's fine. Trousers right here. Um, these are what price glory trousers, I'm pretty sure. They've um, hang in there pretty good, so they're decent trousers. Right here I picked uh, the M41 jacket. This is an old at the front repro. Um, I picked this up off a dude that runs an Army Navy store who's interesting to say the least. Um, but inside I have my shirt, wool trousers. Um, and then my leggings right there that I think are original. Um, yeah, they are, but I don't know what the date is. And then all that's left for me is my um, dress tunic right here. Um, got the eagle right there, sergeants that uh, stripes that I have to take off, my wings, my unit citation. All this is originally 1940 dated. I bought it as a set. I have the tie right there. Um, and then my garrison cap, but that's it for now. I like I said, I got German and Marine Corps on the way for uniforms. 
And one thing I actually, I think I forgot to mention was my uh, great coat that I use for bass stone and stuff. That is actually pre-war dated. It's dated August 1941. So it's like, like just a month or two, a few months before Pearl Harbor. So, and I got it for like 30 bucks. So it was a really great deal. But yeah, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.